How to fake a stomach ache to get out of school. It's hard being a student. Every week, Monday through Friday, you have to be in school whether you like it or not. Some days you just need to stay home, whether you're trying to avoid running the mile in gym class, you're in a fight with a friend, or you simply want a break from the monotony. However before you cuddle up in bed and sleep through your school day, you've got to convince mom and dad. If they aren't the type to empathize with your personal motivations for staying home, faking a sickness will give them a reason they can't debate. Foreshadowing your illness. Complain of a slight stomachache the night before. You need to begin laying the groundwork the evening prior to your sick day so that your parents aren't caught completely off guard the next morning. The illness illusion will be more convincing if you start discussing it at night, when there isn't anything you're trying to get out of or avoid. Don't overdo it. If you're dramatically wailing the night before, they'll probably suspect something. Just make a couple of remarks about nausea or cramping, and clutch your stomach for good measure. Refuse dinner. When your stomach is truly upset or unsettled, you probably don't have much of an appetite. Make your impending sickness convincing by pretending you aren't hungry. Of course, you will be spending the night hungry and uncomfortable if you don't plan ahead. Sneak some food into your bedroom so you can eat it later, without your parents knowing. If your family sits down for dinner together every night, act like you are attempting to eat. Push your food around your plate, and then announce that you're too nauseous to eat much. Go to bed early. Tell your parents that you don't feel well and you want to get into bed as soon as you can. Not only is this a convincing way to show your parents you feel sick, but they also won't be able to attribute any of your symptoms the next day to a lack of sleep. If you aren't tired, go to bed anyway. You can grab a book, text your friends, or play on your cell phone secretly. Avoid mentioning the event you're dreading. For example, don't complain to your parents about the huge exam or the physical fitness test in gym the next day. If they know that you're not looking forward to school the next day, they'll obviously guess your motive for being sick. Instead, act as if everything is normal. Act as though you're not worried about the event, if your parents know about it. If they know you have a big test the next day, say things like, I was pretty nervous for it, but I think I'm going to do well. If it's something other than a test, just tell them that you feel prepared, or at least no longer worried about it. If your parents don't think you're dreading it, they are less likely to suspect that you're trying to get out of it. If you're planning on faking sick to get out of an exam or a big homework assignment, be careful. If you blow off studying or homework because you assume you'll get to stay home, you will be in big trouble if you wake up and aren't able to convince your parents you're sick. Study or complete the assignment just in case. If you end up faking sick effectively and getting the extra day to avoid the test or assignment, that's just a bonus. <laughs>